What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Bishop Whitehead in the click today, you guys. And this video has been highly requested in the comment section. So, here we go. Now, before I start talking my shit, I would like to make it clear that everything that I'm going to say, every point that I'm going to make is not going to be actual facts because we do not have proof. And this would all be allegedly. However, everything that I do say will be 100% my opinion. And oh, you better know I definitely have a lot to say about this because a lot have been transpiring since the alleged robbery. Now, I would like to show you guys the actual robbery. Then I'll have some things to say. Y'all take a look. You about to go Now, this is the video that has been circulating all over the gram, and people are questioning it because they're like, wait a minute. For one, why would they only come and target the bishop and his wife for their jury when you have a whole congregation full of people? And Lord, if this is real, please don't strike me down. But if y'all don't see this man in the corner with the thumbtack curtain behind him on the wall, my man's right there was not thinking about moving. He was like a statue the whole time. But anywho, since the video went viral with Larry Reed, he started questioning some things because he actually knows Bishop Whitehead and he actually ended up going live with another pastor who was actually a female and y'all it got crazy it got like real ignorant it got real ghetto because both Larry and this female pastor had some things that they had to say about the robbery and they also felt it was sketchy so I want y'all to take a look at this and then y'all gonna see Bishop Whitehead come on and disrespect this lady call her all types of names and call Larry all types of names because he was absolutely upset with their allegation and didn't agree with how they felt. So y'all take a look. Okay, now Genesis, what were you saying concerning the pastor and the robbery? What is your point of view? Okay, first of all, hey y'all. Um, so I don't know the man of God, first of all, and I know how it feels to be viral. I know how it feels for people to say all type of things or whatever. I've been in that seat. I'm going viral on TikTok right now, okay? And y'all say some crazy stuff. So I get it. I understand it. But Larry, when I saw that video, I ain't gonna lie, I was screaming. I, 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 I <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was laughing because, not because of the guns and, you know, because from my understanding, they put a gun up to his baby's head and those things are just horrible. That is, that is nothing funny at all. But baby, when they pan that camera over there to that left and that man was sitting over there and they had that sheet with them thumbtacks, oh my God, uh, uh, <laughs> hung up on that wall, baby, I was screaming. Um, but it did look kind of Tyler Perry-ish to me. It did. And I'm not saying that the pastor had anything to do I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone that knows him had him set up because he said in one of the videos that they took one of the chains from him that was inside of his robe. Well, how would someone even know that that was there? So that made me think that it was someone that he knew. And then he came out today saying that he he's giving away $50,000 for anybody that knows who the robbers are. I don't know, Larry. It just seems kind of weird to me. Or maybe he's trying to maybe flex and, and, and show us that he has money. Um, I'm not understanding. But I'm going to tell you something about the streets of New York, baby. They know how to produce a man. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you that. The streets of New York know how to produce a hustler, Larry. Yes, sir. They do. Yes. And 
all of the cars and the money and the flashy clothes. I like it. I mean, to be clear, I like it because he said he's in real estate. And so I think that's amazing that you can turn your life around and provide for you and your family. But it kind of looked a little, I don't know. I, I felt bad for laughing. I, I really did. <laughs> but I, I, something something in the milk ain't clean. I'll just okay. say that. Now, first things first, I definitely agree that he definitely is a flexor because when you go on his Instagram, you can most definitely see he's very flashy. He wears Fendi suits. He even wore a Louis Vuitton suit and his Bentley, even down to his kids wearing Gucci. So the guy is definitely flashy. Now, is there anything wrong with him wanting to wear designer, wanting to spend money on finer things in life? Absolutely not. But a day after the robbery, he posts on his Instagram driving, smiling in his Bentley. He had everybody upset and confused. Like, he smiled. And you just got robbed and you claim that these robbers had a gun in your baby face and you out here driving, looking flashy again, smiling up on the ground. Now, the only reason why I'm pointing this out is because not only did Fat Joe point that out and Larry the next day after the live went viral of him disrespecting them, Bishop Whitehead did not seem as upset as he seen on this live. Now, I will admit Larry Reed ended up reenacting him on the floor, which I thought was a little distasteful because if this is true, that's not funny. Larry Reed, however, ended up apologizing to the net about mocking the fact that he was on the floor getting robbed. However, he did not apologize for feeling the way he felt. Because ultimately, Larry Reed is a comedian as well as a pastor. So at the end of the day, this is his job. Anywho, let's take a look at the rest of his life when things went left. Not embrace him the way that they will embrace somebody who has the money that he has and da 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 da. But when I seen this here video and I looked at this <laughs> backdrop of look like sheets. Larry. And I said, I said, now now we got a problem. Because if you rich, you can take a hundred thousand dollars and buy you a whole new backdrop for the church. I said, this don't make no sense to me. Larry, I was crying. When I was crying, when I seen it, I was screaming to the top of my lungs. I said, Lord, everybody in my subdivision gonna hear me. I'm <laughs> telling you. That thing that had me weak. Lord, I'm sorry. Larry, that's why I texted you and I said, I'm probably going to hell. Because <laughs> I can't stop laughing. As a pastor, that's not right. You mean when you that's you know that's not right. If you rich, write the check to the to the minister and buy it. Hey Bishop. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You upset that I was laughing? No, nah, and I'm not upset about anything. You guys have your prerogative to say what you want to say, but when you are turning what happened to my church into a laughing stop, that's what I have a problem with because I gave you nothing but respect and nothing but honor when I met you. And then, young lady, I don't know you. But when you sit here talking about have thumbtacks on the wall, no, those no, those are backdrops. Those are step and repeats. Let me tell you, we I purchased a church. I own a church. I own a whole block. And that's a temporary church right now. I own the whole block. Okay? So so hold on, hold on. You want to sit here and talk about cloudy diamonds? If you feel that your diamonds is better than mine, so be it. So so be it. So then you wanted to talk to me about our discussion about you don't have to be angry. I'm, being, I'm not know. angry. I'm not. I'm not angry at all. But okay. I treated you. I treated you with nothing but respect and integrity. So from where this is coming from, I don't know. So please inform me. Okay. Please inform me. Number one, it's opinion. You're viral. My job is to talk about what is viral. I did you a favor. No, I don't need no favors from you, Larry. My, but you do though. You Larry, never talk. You, excuse me, you, you ma'am. I don't even know you, ma'am. All right, but so you can looking. just stay out of this one. I don't but even know you. All right, I don't looking, even know you. You, 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 you're trying to include yourself into this. Help. You need to go and get some weight loss if you want to get. If you want. If you want to get. If you want to get. Sir, yes, yeah, so sir. Late. If you want to see okay. and laugh about what happened in my okay. church when we got armed robbed, you're fat. That's what you are. You're okay. a fat slob. I don't know you. Okay. All right. We okay. can really get. Okay. We can really get so, like this. All right. You're not so gonna laugh next. at the okay. situation so you, where a okay. gun was pointed at my baby. Give me no props and laugh at me at the same time. Don't gain time. We want to go there. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. go there. Let's go there. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. Let's go there, Biggie. You're a liar. You're a liar. 
Yes, I'm a light. Let's go. How? How am I light? Number biggie. Two, biggie big. Not biggie smalls, but you're biggie media, big. You are quote unquote All right. bishop in the Lord's church. That's right. You have uh -huh. seen my face on your timeline before. Uh -huh. And if you say you haven't, you're a liar. Nobody I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. Hold on a second. This Nobody wants to talk to you, Biggie. Nobody wants to talk to you, Biggie. You don't have any respect right? for women. No, no, no. Don't talk about women now. Don't talk about women. You don't have because any because y'all laugh. Y'all laugh when the, two, when, the, when we when the Larry said we about the gun and my daughter say y'all laugh. Y'all laugh. That's what you did. Y'all laugh. That's what you did. And you want to say it to about if that's really true. That's what you said, Larry. And y'all laugh, okay? You're disrespectful. I was very disgusted and shocked when he called the woman a big fat blog. And the live is really, really long. So if y'all want to go check it out, y'all could go on Larry Reed's Instagram. He has the whole live on his Instagram. But he got really disrespectful. He started calling Larry out his name, calling him a homosexual, saying he was a faggot. I mean, all types of slurs. Now, I noticed that one thing he kept saying was the fact that they were making fun of a gun being put in his daughter's face. Well, I didn't see that on a lot. I know they made it clear that if that was true and that did happen, that is not a good thing. So they did make that clear, but they were making fun of that backdrop with the thumbtack. However, I 100% agree with Larry Reed. If you are flaunting, I mean, all this money, nice cars, fancy jewelry, designer clothes, big huge house, your wife wearing red bottoms, you wearing Louis Vuitton suit damn near every damn Sunday your wife face beat to the gods blonde extensions on point flexing in the hood pulling up in a Lambo looking like Nino Brown but your church looks like this floors are old your congregation got regular chairs the ceilings is buckling the stairs need a new rug and you definitely need to fix that stage and how is it that your wife got a brand new pair of red bottoms every Sunday I mean did Larry lie they said in here flaunting all this money all this jewelry but they can't put the money into the church i'm not understanding how is your house bigger than your church and i don't care how anybody feel i am not insensitive to the fact that they were robbed and a gun was put in a baby face so they said allegedly however it is unacceptable for you to look this good have all these fancy cars nice home but your church look like somebody's basement it's giving ozark somebody washing money in the church no you're I mean, something ain't right. Not to mention him being all over the blogs for stealing someone's money. $90,000? I mean, people are starting to come out from left field saying this man is being sued for this. The Brooklyn Bishop who says he was robbed mid-sermon is behind on payments across the tri-state area. A New Jersey judge said he owes $335,000 to a construction company. He is in default on a $4.5 million mortgage for a multi-apartment property in Connecticut? So you mean to tell me this property that he claims he bought the whole block of these apartments aren't paid for? And he on his page screaming real estate? Nah, come on. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that he literally just did a press conference and he gonna say out his mouth. Million dollars worth of jewelry and all the tabloids. Why would a pastor have that? What about his congregation? And then you posterize if I wear a Fendi suit or Gucci suit, why is Fendi, Louis, and Gucci, why can't we wear that in the church? What's wrong with that? Too much. Not somebody saying it costs too much in the background, but the point is, there's nothing wrong, like I said, with you wearing those type of things. What's wrong with it is the fact that look at the outside of your church and look at the inside of it. That's the problem. And not one time did he answer a question that any of the reporters had towards those lawsuits because he said it's a law issue and he can't speak on it. But he literally called for a press conference so he can have a pity party in my eye for people to feel sorry for him so he can victimize himself he could talk about black people and people putting black people down and he literally only called it to clear his name because there were no questions asked you knew these people were coming to ask you these type of questions and i mean it got so heated that a lady came out of nowhere and was like he ain't taking no more questions y'all take a look you know before you turn you help turn the young man in after the shooting on the subway you know i remember when last year you ran of course for brooklyn borough president yes. And during that campaign, you accepted a loan, $150,000 from a woman down in Miami, Josette Bayoro, 
Um, I'm just wondering how you know her and why you did not repay her. Thank you so much. Read back much. that At long. This present time, Bishop will no longer be answering any more questions. We appreciate you said two time. questions a person. Have a good day. I didn't even get to finish the first one. Yeah. I'm, I'm letting you know. Yeah. Right. Right. Trying to, listen, um, that's more of a legal question. And um, what you just said, stated, um, is inaccurate. I'm going to leave it there. Why, that's, though? That's listen, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. If y'all have sat through this whole video the whole time, click. You a real one. I just really want to know y'all opinions. I'd love to know your thoughts. I mean, his answers right there is just giving very much fraud. And I ain't going to lie, I ain't really feeling the bishop right now because it's just not looking really promising on his end. All these people coming out of nowhere, out the woodwork, saying you owe them money, everything. The feds is going to be doing their job. For sure. Because at the end of the day, we clearly see that the money is not going into the church. Y'all let me know. I love y'all. On the road to AK. Love you. Bye.